Tarkin may be gone, but our job's still the same. Eliminating Sandrak and his hold over the fonts. There are five, right? He can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does or how Sandrak uses it, but we can try and keep him away from the rest if all of us just... What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one. And the other is in the Tower of Masks in Risharn. Which means Sandrax already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts. But the one in the Pale Forest is, well, you saw what happened to it. So that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. Pin that. We concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is. We just need to learn how to shut it off. And fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. Which leads us to former Grand Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. If there's a weakness to the very Aristean Binding Stone, he'll know about it. In theory. Mmm, sticky wicket, the situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the Immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. His last known location was the Sky Islands of Oriman, digging through the archives at the Library of Akoth. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oriman, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oriman is difficult, Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. Devin, you're running support. Walk Jack through what he needs to do. Get airborne. Ready when you are, Jack. You'll need a special spell to properly ride the ley lines and a strong stomach. Why? What's this spell like? Like Lash, only more panic, vertigo, and fear of heights. Fortunately, there's a Shroud Fane in the Harrows where you can find one. The Harrows over in Havenshire? Got it. All right, I'll be quick. But hey, you okay? We never really got to talk about what happened at Nusia. They're hard for me to pass, honestly. My feelings on all of that destruction. Call me when you have the spell and I'll tell you where we go from there.
Kevin, where do I head next? I've got the spell I need to ride the ley lines. Splendid. The ley line we need to get to Oroman is close by. Heading your way then. Some view, huh? If magical post-apocalyptic vistas are your thing. What the hell happened out there? The Gatterond. Mix stupid ideas with bold, magical experiments and blow your own kingdom to pieces. Wait, they did it to themselves? Indeed. So, the mission. Go to the archives at the library of Akoth in Oroman. See if we can find any trace of Thaddeus and find out if he knows anything about the Binding Stone. You ready to leave now? Or do you want to go over other mission intel? So the Gatterond, huh? All I'd heard about Ormen was that they gave up fighting in the Everwar, what, 20 years ago? More or less. They basically ground themselves to sand. They didn't so much give up as vanish awkwardly from the stage. What happened? A populist faction with a fiery name that I can't remember took over the Ormen government. They advocated for an equal ownership of magic. Not just between Magni, but among the Lightless as well. They believed that by distributing magic evenly, the world would finally be able to work towards an end to the Everwar. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, look where it got them. I, uh, maybe? Part of me absolutely can. Dynastic magical traditions, thousands of years old, versus some upstart idea of shared magic that results in the destruction of roughly a fifth of the continent? I'll trust my overly stringent forebearers. Thank you very much. Back at the Palathon, it felt like you really wanted to tell me something about Thaddeus, but Zendara wouldn't let you. He's a touchy subject, and Zendara's very protective of Kirken. She'd be happy if we never talked about him at all. Thaddeus and Kirken, they hate each other, more or less. You know about our secret duty as stewards of Lucia? The Immortals' mandate and such? Yeah. I poke around. I snoop. Tremendous deficit of character, I know. Evidently, there's another more deeper, extreme version of that mandate that only the Grand Magnus and their immediate confidence know about. Some task they're expected to do at some point. Turns out Thaddeus resigned as Grand Magnus and exiled himself before doing this super secret thing. Whatever it is. I think I'm good to go. After you. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I could get used to that. Give me a portal any day. There's a very high vomit probability for me right now. Suck it up, buddy. We need to get to- Jack!
Hey, I'm Jack. This is Devin. Thanks for the assist. Uh, well, what's your name? Kenzie. You're Lucians, aren't you? Also, Immortals. Just to be clear. Is that a literal thing? What? No. Uh, we can die. It's just like... Good. Then stay back. Hey, 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 watch it. Jack, I may have neglected to mention that the Ormic are notoriously territorial underneath their bohemian facade. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a pampered classist jackboot masquerading as some champion of justice. <clears throat> Look, we're just looking for someone that was here a little bit ago. I love neo-anarchist Pablum as much as the next weak need revolutionary. But I think we can both admit it loses its luster when it ultimately results in the destruction of your entire kingdom. That's not what happened, and you imperialist fuckos know it. Oh, did I say kingdom? I'm sorry. I meant a failed collective that's now just a stretch of gravity-challenged rocks. Maybe the next wrong-headed egalitarian social experiment with magic fares a bit better than all of this unchecked calamity. Wow. Does he always love to hear himself talk this much? Well... Jack? I mean, I can't say no. Look, how about we table the culture clash for a bit, huh? We came here on a mission to keep Sandrak from winning the Ever War. Maybe you can help us. Who? You know what? Scratch that. It's not like I care who wins that stupid war. The sooner someone does, the sooner you can all get out of Orman. You... You don't know who Sandrak is. Nope. But I figure since you're Lucian, he's from Asharn. Same thing, really. Different flags. Same oppressive totalitarian magic hoarding police state. Am I doing it right? Unhelpful. You're on your own. Mind the road. These chronicler constructs are everywhere. Started spilling out of the library months ago. And you'll be happy to know that there are plenty of Rasharnians around, too. You can keep trying to prove which one of you has the right to determine the lives of the rest of us. Hey, wait up. We really are here to save the world. Let her go. With the Rashanians and these chroniclers about, we really could use someone that knows the territory. I'll catch up with her and... Be nicer? Good plan. You push forward to the library and we'll meet you there. She'll come around. <laughs>